Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 18th. And I've I have done some channeling as I've been sitting here, and this is a message from the uh, Soul Source Tarot broadcast system. This is like an SOS message because. The very first thing I saw was the Three of Swords. Okay? The Three of Swords! As the goosebumps are coming. So, the Three of Swords is heartache, loss, and suffering. It's pain, sorrow, and sadness. Then, then I saw instantly, instantly, what do you think I saw? You know, I saw the tower. So it's as though, and the goosebumps, chills, shedding, I mean chills uh, throughout my body. We have some light that is about to be shed. It's like the universe is going to shed some light. They're going to... Lightning is going to strike, right? Lightning is going to strike and something is about to crumble. And all is not as it seems because the card after that is the moon card. So, caution. All is not as it seems. The 18th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is your daily vibe for the 18th. Now, keep in mind that with these daily vibes, this could be something simple or it could be something big. Be prepared for some sort of rude awakening that may make you feel uncomfortable, may make you cry. I'm just being honest with you. The tower is a necessary evil. It's when the universe comes in to break something down. It sheds the light so that you can see the foundation. You can see what is not real, what is not stable, what is not secure. So that you can face the pain. The Three of Swords is painful. But it's something that you must deal with. So let's get started. We're going to start right here and get an overall energy. There's going to be a disruption. Could be big. Could be tiny. Okay. Don't worry, because now I just saw the Nine of Swords. So some of you are already worried, right? You're already worried that a, a reading started out this way, right? And, it, and worry is a normal emotion. It is. There, there could be some worry. There could be some fear. There could be some anxiety. But there's something that has been on your mind, or there's something that absolutely needs to be dealt with and the universe is going to shed some light on this situation there's our moon card caution all is not as it seems the moon is ruled by the shadow the, the unseen what you see is not what you get so there's something going on that you are probably not aware of. It hasn't been shown to you yet. Be prepared. Okay, be prepared. There's hidden forces here. Something is about to be revealed that has been below the surface. It's like the light is going to be shed and the shadow is going to go away. So be prepared for something to be revealed. And it may... 
hurt. I mean, the Three of Swords is painful. Heartbreak, separation, grief. Somebody may have been projecting themselves or a situation may have been projected to be something it is not. Be prepared for that light to be shed. You know, I, at, at first I saw chaos. Before I even saw the Three of Swords, I, I was sitting here with my eyes closed and I thought, chaos, chaos, chaos. And I was like, chaos, what the hell is that? And I, you know, I talked to my guides, kind of chaos. And then I saw the Three of Swords. So, some sort of chaos. Four of Coins. King of Cups reversed. Well, we have somebody here that is withdrawn. There's uh, somebody is not mastering their emotions well. This person could be greedy and selfish. Well, ooh, the devil reversed, breaking free, taking back control, freedom, freedom, six of coins, you get what you give, you reap what you sow, somebody's about to receive something, but you better be careful, you really, 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 really better be careful, because it could be a trick. There could be some deceit behind it. Somebody may have given something that it looks like it's pretty small to me. Crumbs. Wheel of Fortune reversed. Ooh. Somebody has been clinging to control. Clinging to control. We have, and this is very controlling as well. This one is too. And this one. Woo! Okay, so yeah, we have of some sort of uh, situation that somebody has been trying to control perhaps another person or to control a situation, giving crumbs, giving very little, and I feel like somebody is about to see the likes. We have a very difficult situation here, okay? This isn't meant to be. There's no real fortune. This person is giving a little, but there's nothing really fortunate about it. There's nothing rewarding about it. It's bringing another person backwards. We have somebody here that is hiding because the four of pet four of pentacles is often hiding. They are hiding their true emotions. Hmm. trying to cling in. We have somebody that is very, very controlling here. This is a control issue. Page of Coins and the Ten of Coins. Very much focused on money, assets, home, what they can get financially. We have somebody here that is not invested in love by the looks of things. What can I get financial, financially? What can I get out of this? Somebody's about to move, okay? Somebody's about to go away. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm taking back control. I'm taking back control now. I'm going. I'm getting out of here. The Hermit and the High Priestess. Somebody has seen, this is enlightenment, see the light? Somebody has seen the light, so yes, somebody is about to see the light about what they have been receiving. You notice, somebody's about to see the light about as to what they have been receiving. Crumbs, crumbs. They've been unaware that this is taking them backwards. This, this, this being controlled has caused a repression, a loss of self, a disempowerment, a shutdown. 
It's caused somebody to not listen. It's caused somebody, somebody hasn't been listening to their gut and they've been going backwards. So that's why the universe, that's why I saw the universe. So the universe sees this misalignment. The universe sees this control. And I feel like we have somebody here that is going to find their focus basically to move. I think we have somebody here that is like, I'm out of here. I'm moving. I'm moving because this could be moving home and this is moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. And I think that whoever that they're dealing with, is, that they're dealing with is unemotional. This person is, is non-caring. Okay, this person is non-caring. This person doesn't care. This person gives very, very little. This person is very, very controlling. This person is more interested in money than anything else. This person is not interested in love. We have no love here. None. Absolutely, positively none. This is, this is, this is uh, bad luck. And it's like things have been out of control with the person that has lost themselves because they have been dealing with a person that has been so controlling. Could be dealing with Pisces. I'm just or Cancer. Or a Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo. Um, I feel as though something, some light is about to be shed on a situation and control is about to be taken back. It's like we have somebody here that basically sees the light. And it's like they, they decide to go. They decide to go. It's like they, they, they see another, they decide to take a risk. We have somebody here that decides to take a risk. Without knowing where they're going. It's like, I'm going. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. What's that? I don't know. Here we go. Here I go again. Is that by, is that by White Snake? I think it is. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. I'm, I'm taking back control now. I'm taking my control away from you. So... Ten of Swords. Traitor? Traitor? No shit. No way. We definitely have a traitor. We definitely have a traitor. This, this is somebody who has hurt another person. Really, really focused on money. And the only reason that they were hanging around was for the money. And that is very clear. And that is what is going to be shown. That is what is going to be shown. It's like, this isn't about love. This is about money. This is about money and control. This is not about love. And we have somebody here that is about to become enlightened. And that's like, all of a sudden they see the light in the situation. It's like, boom. Sorry, but yeah, I speak like that. And that's the way it goes. Not going to speak in a dry tone of voice. That's what you're looking for. There's lots of readers on here that do that. I'm not I'm not that one. Eight of Swords are coming out of confinement. I'm not going to be trapped here. Eight of Swords reversed. Somebody is, is removing this obstacle. They're accepting the lies. They're seeing the lies. And they're removing themselves from this trap. They've been trapped in a situation that has brought them back backwards and has stolen their sense of self. They have been deeply controlled by another person and it's over. It's done. I'm taking back control right now. So I feel like today is a day of somebody 
moving without knowing where the hell they're going. This queen, I just cut the deck. Queen of Spears reverse. There's bitterness. There could be some anger. Emotional shutdown again. This is somebody that is probably has nothing nice to say. Uh, resentful. And, and that being controlled will cause resent. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. We have somebody here that is about to, you know, speak very, very harshly and tell the truth and cut somebody out. Somebody is about to get cut out in not a very nice way, okay? So I'm just being honest. I'm being honest with you. I feel, and it's funny that the, I, I saw those cards that I saw, it totally fits, totally fits. There's no love here. And that's what this is going to come to be. It's like, this is, there's no love here. We got somebody here that is emotionally withdrawn. This person is so focused on their money. They're so focused on their job. They're so focused on the assets. It's like they've treated this person like a freaking slave. And this person decides to break those shackles. And stop being controlled. So it's the end. It's the end of suffering. I'm moving on. Going my own way. The Queen of Swords and the Hermit. I'm going my own way. Somebody is deciding to just go. And they don't even know where they're going. So. Whoever they've been dealing with is very, very greedy. Greedy. This person plays with them, plays games with them, gives a little, takes it back, gives a little, then then um, harasses them, you know, before it uses it, uses it against them. Oh, but we have somebody here that is taking back control, breaking free. Seriously, we got so, this is totally somebody that is breaking free from a very painful situation. So today is a day, I believe, of moving on. Good luck.